Hey there, tarot friends. So today I want to talk a little bit about the scary cards that come up in our readings, the tower, death, devil, all of that. And if you're anything like me, you think the worst. Your, your brain goes right to the major catastrophe and you're just like, oh crap, it's all going to come to an end. Somebody's going to die. My house is going to burn down. So that's what this is about. It's not the end of the world if you pull the tower card or one of these other, um, ne you know, negative cards. And there are negative cards in the tarot. I'm not trying to gloss that over. But let me start with a story here. So today I decided to go get some compost. I got in my car. I'm driving down this boulevard called Wurzbach Parkway. And this mockingbird just like flies right in front of me. And you know how some birds sometimes do? It takes this weird swoop and went right into my car. It smashed right into my car. And I hit it. I heard it. I heard it hit. I hit that bird. I killed that bird. So I started freaking out because I, you know, I do use omens. When you see omens, especially animals, I'm just like, oh, my God, I just hit a bird. There's going to be an accident. My son's going to get an accident. That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. And then I was all, like, freaking out while I was driving to the place. But, like, oh, my God, what does that mean? Like, somebody's, somebody's going to get hurt. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. So when I got to the, the place to get the compost, it... It was just a bad experience. Like the people selling it didn't give a crap about their compost. They had it out in the sun and it's been so hot here and the bags were all, the compost was like dust. And the, and I, you know, I couldn't get anyone to help me and blah, 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 blah. It was just a bad experience. Like let's just sum it that up that way. It was a bad experience. So maybe that's what the bird crash was telling me. I don't know. It's one of those things you don't really know. You know, there's still time in the day. There's still days in the week. Something could happen. If my son does get in a car crash, I'll let you know, and I'll let you know I was wrong. Uh, but chances are nothing terribly tragic is going to come as a result of that bird omen. Okay, so I just want to I just want to be realistic here. Okay, so that's my story. Let's let's move on to talking about tarot. So as I mentioned, there are there are negative cards in the deck. I'm not trying to gloss it over and I'm not like, it's all positive, it's all love and light, there's no bad cards. That's not what I'm saying at all. That is not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is like, if particularly if you're doing like a daily draw, you're gonna draw these cards. And so what I want you to think about is that it does not mean that the world's going to end every time you draw one of these cards as part of your daily draw. And it doesn't even mean the world's going to end when you pull them in a spread either. But let's just keep focused on the daily draw part. So daily draw, you get one of these cards, you get the devil, you get the tower, you get death. First thing your brain goes to, you know, like somebody in my family is dying. My house is going to be burned down. I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to crash my car. Like all these terrible things are going to happen. And we run around with like our hair on fire going catastrophe, catastrophe. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So what do, what do we do instead? Let's talk about what we can do instead. What you can do instead is try to minimize the car. Like think about like what is the the tiniest most minimal meaning that I think that I can give to the card and in, the, is in this example I'm talking about the tower so tower it's like you, you could get a minor burn you could be cooking and you burn your finger and you're like ow it's red or worst it's a little blister or you could be walking along and bump your arm and you get a bruise or it could be, you also have to remember that a lot of times it's not, not always about you. It could be about someone else, like someone at work gets fired. Yeah, it could, the tower could be you getting fired, but it could also be someone at work getting fired. And if it's somebody you don't like, that's actually a good thing, right? Or it could just mean that your plans fall apart and you have to go back to the drawing board. And it's not like a major, like I was moving across the country and I was buying this house and the whole thing fell through. You know, it could just be some kind of thing that you were planning to do 
And it's like, oh, now I can't do that thing. Back to the drawing board. So that's what I invite you to do. When you pull these cards, try to minimize and see, you know, how, how small can you make that meeting? So just to explain that a little further, um, you know, you have, um, you have like kind of two different spectrums working with any card. You have the good part and the bad part, like the good and the bad. So like I said, the tower card, that's generally a bad card that generally can bring up things like health issues and things falling apart, people losing jobs and accidents and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it, it, as far as like getting fired, like I said, if, if somebody at your job gets fired and you really didn't like that person, that's actually kind of on the good end of the spectrum there. Bad for them, good for you. That's the way it is. I, you know, sue me. That's how it is. There's also the major minor scale, which is what I was talking about, where we're trying to minimize or make things more minor. There's, you know, there are major life changes and there are minor life changes. So you go through life day to day and things happen and you go to the grocery store and all that stuff. And if they're out of whatever your favorite brand of milk is, like it's not the end of the world. But it, like I said, if you're trying to move across country and you have a new job and you lose that job, that's kind of a major thing. So this is just stuff to think about. So like, like good major, like what's a good major thing that uh, could happen with the tower card is like, yeah, somebody at work can get fired, but then you end up getting promoted or major bad is like the example I said, like you're moving across the country for a job and then suddenly that job's gone. You know, good minor is, uh, I don't know. The street was blocked and so therefore people didn't show up at the location you were going to. That's a minor good thing. A minor bad thing is like, like I said, like you, you stubbed your toe, you burnt your finger, something like that happened. You kind of bent your fender because you ran into something, <laughs> something like that. But just be just be thinking of just to be thinking in those terms every time you get a card, but particularly when you start to panic, and then you and you start to feel like a beaker over here with your hair on fire, going, "Oh my God!" Just calm down and start thinking about this and like be thinking about what you know what possibilities could be. And so, you know, when do you need to like really be concerned? Well, if during your daily draws, and that's pretty much the context I'm talking about right now, is if you're seeing like a repetition or you're seeing clusters of these cards, it could be drawing your attention be like, you might want to look at this. You might want to check yourself before you wreck yourself kind of thing. And that even goes in a spread too. Like if you're seeing a cluster of these bad cards in this certain area, you're like, well, you might want to pay attention to that and don't gloss over it and don't try to minimize it. But generally speaking, you don't need to go to the, the catastrophe, my hair's on fire. So if you are doing a daily draw, well, good for you. If you're not, I have a worksheet that you can print off and use and do, do start pulling a card a day and see what comes up. You know, don't put a lot of expectations on it, but pull a card a day and then see what starts showing up for you and how you can correlate the cards to your life. Uh, I'm going to add to this and I'm going to do it like a monthly review after you've done 30 days of doing this and how to get some context and pull some additional meaning out of the card. But in the meantime, you can download this worksheet and you can start pulling a card a day and, and see what shows up, see what you learn. Well, I will see you next time.